Bakir Raj Kanan gives you Sultan starring Karthik. 157 minutes of mayhem, chaos, violence, celebration of dust, dirt and blood, all in the name of entertainment. This growing brazen celebration of muscle flexing in the name of entertainment is a serious reflection of the cultural collective of the times we live in. Time we examine it, time we look at it as the media, as the larger space with which we and a whole generation is living. And whether this is what we want in the time capsule that talks about art and culture of the times of this. Very disappointing film that you spend 157 minutes would reflect that Reuben, the editor of the film, is so committed to director Bakiraj Kanan that he wants to ensure that everything shot is shown in the film. And what is the story about? The story is about a whole village or a whole family, a large community of about 100 people led by the dad whose role is played by Napoleon. He dies very early. And then the foster father, Lal Mansur, who is called the earlier Sultan. And he names and a small child born on a wet night as Sultan. And his real name is Vikram. So Vikram grows as Sultan, but far away goes out of the village of Vishakapatnam as it is shown in the film. I am sure it is uh, more a Tamil Nadu based film as you can make out from the dress, the design, the decibels, etc. Very soon you have uh, him coming back to the village for a holiday and then getting caught in the vortex of crime, tragedy, drama that happens in the village. He promises the local inspector that he would convert his camp of 100 people into good human beings, unaware of the fact that there is a lo looming villain in the piece, the rural villain as I would call him, played by, played as Jayendra by Rama Chandra Raju over the top. And therefore he has to go to Vaisak to keep these people away, where he goes to this village, where he obviously has to run into the heroine of the movie. The heroine of the movie, Rashmika as Rukmi, very drab, lackluster performance. And then he not only has to fight this local villain who is grabbing the land, etc., but he is also to make for another urban villain who comes in in the form of Nawab Shah. How he fights all of them, how he throws how the sickles and the hammers and the guns and the spears and all of them work with those lungi dances and unkept beards and men in the hundreds behaving like they've been out of civilization for hundreds of years is what the filmmaker is trying to tell you in the name of entertainment. I wonder what is it in the script that Karthik saw? worth taking and doing because this is what he's done in so many films. Neither is there anything in the script that stands out and tells Karthik, yeah, I must take this movie, I have not done something like this. Or a film where he says, yeah, forget it, maybe I have done this kind of a cinema again and again. But here are such amazing points in the story, the script, the direction that I think is worth investing my time, money and energy or my reputation. None of this is visible if for 157 minutes, not a minute of serenity, not a minute of sanity. It is so loud, it is so crass. Everybody shouting at the top of their voice, melodramatic to a fault. And you walk out of the film tired. And yes, you walk out of the film a tad happy that your tryst with Karthik's 
Qalam Sultan is done and over. This Sultan is made for a downfall. I would believe that there's nothing worth recommending from this movie. Even Karthik, beyond the point, you know, he's done all this all the time, everywhere. So there's nothing new or fresh about the film. And it is so violent, so celebrative of violence, that I think someday saner elements in the film going audience must stand up and say, will you stop giving us this kind of cinema? And the only way we can say that is to say, thank you very much. I'm not going to be a part of contributing to the success of this kind of cinema. I would believe that there is nothing worth offering for Karthvi to take up in this film. His screen chemistry with the heroine is almost minimal, if not negative. Uh, before I sign off, thanks to my editor in Abhinav and uh, acknowledgments and thanks to Datu, my cinematographer or my director of photography. Thank you very much, uh, both of you. And to conclude, this Sultan, this is a story of the fall of the Sultan. Thank you.